Hello my bougie babes and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. I wanted to start this new year off right by bringing you guys my nighttime skin routine. This is not a nighttime skin routine that I use every night but when my skin needs a little extra TLC from all the pregnancy hormones and all of the makeup, this is typically the routine that I go to. So if you guys want to know what products I use to get this glowy skin at night, make sure you guys keep on watching and also if you are not subscribed down to the channel, make sure you do that before leaving this video. Okay, so this is what we are working with. I am starting with a face full of makeup that I've been wearing all day. I typically take these headbands that I got from Amazon um, to cover my edges because I don't want any water or anything touching it to make my lace look faster. These headbands came in a pack of six and I take two of those and wrap them around my hands, which you'll see later with my wrist so that way the water doesn't drip down my arms. I know they make some specifically for that, but I just don't see the purpose in buying those if I already have the same thing, you know, in my possession. But anyways, after I pull back the hair and things, I like to turn on either music or The Sims. Um, I love The Sims, y'all, but it's very relaxing. And I just watch that while I am washing and cleansing my face. So step one to my skincare routine is removing the makeup. I like to go in with the Neutrogena Makeup Removal Wipes. Um, I love these wipes. I swear by these wipes. And I also learned that if you turn them upside down before you use them, like more of the liquid will soak into the cloth and it'll make it even more wet. And I just love that. But anyways, I use this to remove as much makeup as possible before I actually get into using my products. So step two to my skincare routine is the oil pre-cleanse. I like to use the Elf Makeup Melt Away. And basically it's like a cleanser but in oil form because oil also assists with breaking up any makeup, any um, waterproof mascara or you know things like that that didn't come off with the makeup wipe. So I like to go in with this before I use my actual cleanser. Now the back of that product says to rinse away with warm water, but water and oil don't mix, so for me, it doesn't get the product off. So I like to go in with another makeup wipe just to remove all of that product as well as the makeup um, and just have a clean, fresh surface for my actual cleanser that I put on. Yeah. Now step three is where we go in with the actual cleanser. I'm using Fenty Skin Total Cleanse. I like to wet my face just a little um, and go in with this cleanser. I don't want a lot of water on my face because I do like to what they would call dry clean first and then go in with water. But right here you just see me rubbing this product all over. Um, my face is fairly wet but not a lot to wear like it makes suds and bubbles and stuff like that just enough to spread the product around my face but yeah yeah i love this cleanser i love fenty skin period like rihanna did her thing with that <laughs> but after i finish dry cleansing i like to get my um sonic face brush i think i got this one from amazon i link it in the description box below but i like to go in with that um as well as my steamer and just get a little deeper cleanse with the same cleanser that I already put on my skin. I don't add any extra product. I just wet the product that's already on my face and to me the steamer just opens up my pores so I can really get in to those pores and get all the makeup and oils and everything like that with the cleanser. Now 
Now step four is where I would go in with my exfoliator or my Dr. Dennis Gross Daily Peel. But because it's a chemical peel and I don't know if this is safe to use while pregnant, I have been skipping this step lately. But before, y'all, I swear by this product. I love this product. So step five would be my face mask. I am going in with the Fenty Skin. I think this is the Detox Charcoal Mask. I believe that's the official name. This was actually my first time using this mask. I typically would use one from like Walmart or something, but I finally got my hands on this one. And y'all, I love this mask. This mask is everything. You can actually feel that your skin is like free of any debris or anything once you rinse this off. It's just like a great feeling for your skin. Definitely pick it up if you have not tried it yet. So once you have put a thin layer of the mask on your skin, you're supposed to rub it in until all of the charcoal beads break up and the white mask turns gray. The charcoal beads are basically what detoxes your skin and clean your pores out. So um, here I am just rubbing it in until it turns gray. And I do let it sit on my skin for about 10 to 15 minutes after I have broken up the charcoal beads. Once I'm ready to rinse it out, I start my steamer again just to help like loosen up the mask and it's easier to wipe off. And instead of rinsing it off, I just wipe it off with a hot towel. Um, I would rinse it off, but I just, I don't know, I just don't think that me putting water on it and it dripping into my eyes is safe. So I just take a wet towel, make sure it's hot water that's on the wet towel and wipe it off. It works for me, but if you do it a different way, you know, girl, keep doing you, but this is what works for me. Once the mask is completely washed away or wiped away, I like to go in with the Fenty Skin Fat Water Toner. Honestly, I don't know what the purpose of a toner is. I don't know what it does. I, I don't know what I'm supposed to be seeing once I apply it, but the girlies say you use a toner and that's what I do. I use a toner faithfully, but again, I don't know what it does. If y'all know, leave it in the comments and let me know what I'm supposed to be expecting with a toner because I'm lost. I just be using it, child. Now, once my toner has dried down, I do go in with my moisturizer. I'm using the Pods moisturizer. And although I have oily skin, I like to use the one for dry skin. Um, since becoming pregnant, I have been having this dry spot on my nose. And this moisturizer has been helping a lot. To finish off my skincare routine, I like to use the Clean Beauty Brightening Face Serum. It has hyaluronic acid as well as glycolic acid and vitamin C, if I'm not mistaken, which are all things you need to put back into your skin after you have done such a deep clean like I have done, y'all. And I found this one at Marshalls, if I'm not mistaken, either Marshalls or Ross, but I love this serum so much. Of course, we cannot forget about the lips. We have to make sure our lips are nice and moisturized before bed. So I'm using the e.l.f. Um, lip chap. I'll leave everything in the description box. But yeah, you guys, that is the end of today's video. This is what my skin looks like after I have done my skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.